viewers, welcome to today's episode of our program Entrepreneurship on Campus on Union Ocean 406 TV. I am your presenter for today, Yakubu Temtokwe, and with me here in the studio is my co-presenter, Peter Anna. Today we'll be looking at how to manage academic life and business life while on campus. We'll also look at the use of social media in promoting business on campus and how to reach your target audience through the use of social media platform. According to research on entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurs have been instrumental in spurring social change and improving the way people live and work. They help to raise the standard of living for everyone by creating jobs, drive economic growth, and pave way for generating wealth today. Entrepreneurship is becoming more and more prominent with many students seeking out extracurricular activities in order to learn how to succeed in business. In the studio with us today is a renowned entrepreneur who is also skilled in his business. We are certain that by the end of today's program, you and I will be able to know the importance of being an entrepreneur. Before we introduce our guest in, we would like to take a short break. Do you want to bring life into your body space? Do you need one to touch your wall and set up your space? Most Interior World is a reputable painting and decorating brand. They have a team of professionals who are technically skilled in regular painting and decorating finishes, wall defect treatments, wallpaper, warm wrap installation, 3D panel installation, window blinds, and curtain installation. And you can also reach us or call us on 081-0806-3225. More interior world, the best hands you can get on your world. Welcome back. We are still on our program, Entrepreneurship on Campus. And today we'll be talking about entrepreneur academics and the impact of social media platform on business. Our guest on today's show is a graduate of Linguistics and Communication Study, Ocean State University. He is a professional interior designer, and he will be taking us on a journey on how to manage their, how students can manage their academic life and business life while on campus. Join me in welcoming to our studio, Mr. Adegoke Adewale, CEO of Most Interior. Good day, sir. You are welcome to our program today. Thank you very much. I'm also honored to be here this afternoon. Our guest will be speaking in-depthly on entrepreneurship as a student and the impact of social media platform on their business. In the meantime, join the conversation by sending your contributions in form of text messages on the number on the screen below, 081-249-70694. You can also send your contributions on our IG page, Union Ocean 406 TV. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abide Jukukonua, the founder level student of the Business and Communications Department to your campus of Shoe State University. And I'm here for an outdoor interview with a few entrepreneurs to give their views or perspective on entrepreneurship on campus. And with me here, I have seen this collection and I would like to know from her to give a view on entrepreneurship on campus. I see. Hello, my name is Adeleke Sosola. Nice to meet you. So the first question I have is what is your view on signing entrepreneurship on campus? Um, I would say entrepreneurship on campus has been a very good one and it uses consistency, it uses, you know, you being able to plan yourself accordingly and all. Because at the end of the day, we're all building our lives for after school, so you need to like own the ground, you know. And Thank you for that great answer. Now, the second question I have is, how were you able to build and sustain your brand in this trip? I would say our school groups are helping lots. Like it allows me to bring out my brand out there. Like also it on social media, I mean WhatsApp especially because I'm able to like interact with so many people and have impact. Thank you, Simsa. We appreciate you. I wish you could go. I want to ask you a question. The first question I want to what is your basic view, your view on entrepreneurship? especially has provided a conducive environment for encouragement and promotion of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship leads to the creation, creation of markets that can provide um, employment for people and a benefit of economy. Yes. Second question I want to ask you is, as a popular entrepreneur, how will you to balance your academic life and your business? You know, some situations where you have to face the business. Yeah, I want to buy food. How will you to balance your academic life and your business? It has not been an easy 
hacks for me combining classes and businesses together. But it is a wonderful experience so far. Okay, I have another understanding customer and, and all thanks to my assistants, as of using me and to me. They have been the one at them assisting me whenever I'm not around. That's very nice. That's Thank you so much, Uwai, for your time, and I wish you good success in your business. Thank you for having me. So we are still here at Ocean State University in campus, and I'm here with this, and he's going to give us his own view and perspective on the entrepreneurship of campus. Welcome, please. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. I am Okoye P. So I agree with that. Please, it's so nice to meet you. So um, the first question I want to ask you is, what is your view, your basic view on entrepreneurship? very good thing because as a student I believe there are a lot of um, um, let's say needs you might want to meet and you know as the economy is in Nigeria and all so I believe it's a very good thing on campus. As, is, as a student who is here to acquire this skill, do you intend to go to university? Yeah, I really intend going into some business because I believe it's like a backbone to, um, to every individual. Yeah. To every individual that wants to live in a baby class, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. And I'm here with this, and he's going to give us his own view and perspective on the entrepreneurship of campus. Welcome, please. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. I am Open AP, so I agree with that. Please, it's so nice to meet you. So, um, the first question I want to ask you is what is your, your basic view on entrepreneurship? very good thing because as a student I believe there are a lot of um, um, let's say needs you might want to meet and you know as the economy is in Nigeria and all so I believe it's a very good thing on campus. As, is, as a student who is here to acquire this skill, do you intend to go to university? Yeah, I really intend going into some business because I believe it's like a backbone to, um, to every individual. Yeah. To every individual that wants to live in a baby class, that's it. That's it. Welcome back to the program, Entrepreneurship on Campus. There are many things we want to discuss with you today. As a budding entrepreneur, how do you think acquiring entrepreneurship will help to solve the problem of unemployment? Oh, all right. Thank you very much. And as we know the situation of the country today, the rate on, of unemployment is nothing to write home about. And according to research, we see that in high institutions today, um, we have over 2 million intakes every year. And also, these schools, they produce over 600,000 graduates each year. And out of these people, we have very underemployed people. We have very few employed people. And majority of them, they are just jobless. And that means that students, these people, they are educated, but yet they are jobless. Looking at it now, we can see that the only way to solve this rate of unemployment is when people take up jobs and become employers of their own. And they take up jobs, teach other people, and employ people. By this rate, we can solve the rate of un unemployment in the country. All right, thank you, sir. Sir, what inspired you into your business, and how has it been of help in this tough economy? Oh, all right, so I wouldn't... Um, want to go into details of where it all started but I would say I started this because I wanted to make a living for myself and I wanted to create a name for myself and this is me as a person who loves compliments a lot and one thing that inspired me into this business of interior design is I love when um, I love when the space changes and people like oh what who did this who did that and that was what really inspired me and everyone who comes to train with me, I asked them, what is inspiring you to go into this field? And that is one thing that has inspired me in getting into this business to date. And we thank God for where we are now and where we're going to. Thank you so much for your response. Sir, you were once a student of Ocean State University. How were you able to balance going into school and also engaging yourself in business? Um, trust me, it was a tough one. I wouldn't lie to you. And it is just something I, this is a passion for me. I missed classes, but one thing for me, I still know that uh, the primary goal while I'm in school is for my education. 
So I missed classes, I but I didn't miss exams, I didn't miss tests, I did all of that. And you know, the toughest time was doing my project. I had a very, very strict project supervisor, Mr. V. O. Um, this man knows that, oh, this guy has to travel because I travel a lot to do jobs and all of that. And this man would tell me, oh, come to school. I'll be in school till 6 p.m. We're in school together doing all of this. So it was very, very tough for me. I had times where, when I had exams and I had to travel for job and come on the day of the exam. So it was really tough, but I knew that I'm here for a goal and the goal is my academics. So I studied well ahead of the class and that is just it. Thank you very much, sir. As we all know that social media is a tool for publicity and marketing to grow business, whether you run a small, large or a small scale business enterprise or a large scale enterprise, how were you able to sustain and build your brand on social media? Um, thank you very much. Um, this brand is a growing one and one thing is social media has really helped me in um, making connections with people and even getting job referrals. Um, you know, this, um, our WhatsApp um, status, we have vendors who post clothes, who post shoes and all of that. I do it to posting my jobs, but at the same time, I, I don't do it to bore people. Uh, because definitely everyone is not painting or everyone is not changing the look of their spaces every day on like clothes so people want to wear clothes people want to wear shoes and all of that so i post on my instagram my facebook my tiktok and whatsapp but i don't use it to bore people and at the same time um to maximize the use of social media i have to uh, do a professional course in social media marketing and that has really helped me thank you so much sir Thank you, sir, for your response. So, viewers, we will be unveiling some interviewed students on their views of students on entrepreneurship on campus. Stay tuned, and we will be right back. When we are talking about fashion and quality, we speak about Simi's Collection, a fashion brand that entails bad hats. Are you looking for where to get your shoes, your bags, clothes, jewelries, caps, and everything that evolves around fashion for both male and female? at cheap and very affordable prices. Why don't you contact Simi's collection and let's get you started with fashion. Just by oh my cousin, are you hungry? Just call my resto. Are you looking for where to get your smoking jollof, intercontinental fried rice, village concussion rice, swallow, coleslaw, chicken and chip, shawarma, with any protein of your choice, chicken, turkey, beef, goats, meat, fish, egg. We are available to work with your budget and according to your dietary needs. We are also available to travel. We are also available for your outdoor cooking, super order, on pre-order basis, event handling, and outdoor catering for corporate events, conferences, weddings, house parties, dinner parties, holiday parties, and large gatherings. We have seen responses from students and we are still having one or two questions to ask Mr. Adewale. As a professional interior designer, what has been your improvement? Um, a lot. A lot. Um, so, for me, I started barely six to seven years ago and it has been um, improvement upon improvement. So, one thing about me is I'm not trying to stay static, like, oh, this is what I learned. I learned the traditional way, actually, um, going from bus to bus. But with as time goes on, I, I went to school. I just finished from Madison School for Decorative Painting. I hold certificates in painting and decorating. So one thing for me, I don't stay static. I don't want to stay on what I have known before. So I'm trying to build myself daily and improving on what I have known. All right, sir. As a successful entrepreneur, what advice will you give the undergraduates and those aspiring to go into one business or the other? All right. Um, so one thing I'm going to say is this is a process. Growth is a process. You don't start big. You start whatever thing you want to start and you grow in it. And I would not say you should go for what you don't have passion for, what you do not love. You should go for what you love. Money should not be the drive. If money, I, I know we all want to make money, definitely, but money should not be the drive. And um, you should really focus on what you want to learn and you should learn it well. And don't be a jack creeping what you are learning. Don't be just um, a shady person in what you're doing. Learn and let your education show in what you're learning. So um, when I was on campus, we had a foundation where we raised um, money for students who are less privileged for their school fees and all of that. And while we were doing this, I saw people, oh, I need 
20,000, we need 10,000 for school fees and all of that. And I felt I started, I wanted to start in, in, an initiative then, that, uh, by the way. And that initiative is beyond the four walls of the classroom. And But due to one of two reasons, the projects did not see the light of the day. But definitely, we are going to be doing something about it. So beyond the four walls of the classroom, it's not about school in the known. Like outside school, what is next? What is going to be your benefit? What are you going to be doing? And so I would just advise anyone that wants to go into anything like the best time to start is now. And what you want to start, you make sure you learn from the best and you also constantly improve yourself. It has been an amazing time with you, Holly, and we really we are really grateful to be here with you. We appreciate our special guest, Mr. Adego Kiadewale. It is our pleasure having you on the program today. It's our deepest honor. appreciation also goes to our viewers. Thank you for being part of the program. And also our crew members. I am certain we all have gained something from our program today. A very big thank you to the producer, Mr. V. O. Adifemi. I remain Yakubu Tim Tokwe and my co-partner. Peter Anna, your host for today's program. Join us next time for another exciting episode. Thank you. God bless you.